So I just want to start this off by saying Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm sorry I haven't really been uploading since the 20th, I think, of December. I took a little bit of a break. I did upload 20 videos in a row, so that was probably why I was a bit exhausted with it all. But either way, I'm back, and thank you for tuning in to another year of football and everything that I do on my channel. We're just going to get straight into it, though. We've got two games for you. Well, kind of like one and a half. The first half was a game that I didn't play in because I've been injured. I keep getting injured quite a lot, and I'll speak about that later on. But then we've got a game that we played against Gateshead, which I played the full 90 minutes in, which will be the second game in this video. So we're starting off with the first half game with Darlington RA. I recorded the first like 60 minutes before the batteries ran out. It was really, really cold and then he brought two batteries with me, so it's kind of my fault. We played these away, second game of the season for me on the channel, and we won 7-1, so let's get straight into it. So we started off bright. We've got a throw in here with Charlie on the right hand side. Nice little one-two from Phil. He slips, but he's back up on his feet. He tries to get the ball in the box, but it's comfortable for the keeper. Charlie again coming forward with the ball. He plays it into Phil once again, actually. And Phil's going to run at this defender. He likes getting them one versus ones. He plays the ball in the box and bears with a touch. And it's 1 0. That was pretty early on, I believe, in the 20th minute, something like that. It's just the start we're looking for. And Bears gets, I believe, his first goal of the season. So that was pretty good as well. Not even two minutes later, they've got the ball at the other end of the pitch. Number eight's had a shot, but it's been blocked. It's coming then, number 10. And it's a tidy finish with his left foot. And he makes it 1 1. We've had most of possession going forward, but they've got a break right now, and Dee's made a comfortable save for himself, but probably not as comfortable for the people watching. Get out my shot, man. <laughs> After some camera time. <laughs> so Phil's got the ball on the right-hand side, good control, good touch, has a shot, and the keeper just gets a hand to it, and it goes out for a corner. But the corner mustn't have come for anything. They've got the ball on the edge of the box. He's had a shot. Great save by Dee. Another save by Dee. Double save. It was offside, but it doesn't matter. Dee, that was ridiculous. Great double save by himself. Wow, Dee. So we've got the ball with Fam in the middle here, he plays it to Bathy. Bathy gets his head up and sees the long ball through. It's a great ball. Phil is onside right now. He's running through with his pace. He's going at the keeper now. One versus one. He takes him on and slots it home. That is 2-1 to Wolverston FC against Darlington RA. That's just what we needed going into the second half. Good lad. Get, Get in, Phil. Well done. So like I said, I only recorded about 60 minutes and there wasn't much that happened in the second half. They got a goal around 70th minute and then we scored in the 90th minute or the 92nd minute, something like that, and won 3-2. We got the three points that we needed. It was a tough game compared to the game we played at their place. So yeah, it was a very, very good game in the end, but very tight. We could have dropped points right there. Sorry about not having the end of the footage of the last game, but not to worry because we've got a full 90 for you here to watch. I was playing this game, it was my game back from an injury right before Christmas, so hopefully guys you enjoyed the full match on this one. But we're playing Gated, who we beat 8-0 previously in the season, which you guys have seen. If you haven't, then go to the playlist with all the matches, you can check that out. But yeah, this is a league game, we need another three points. We've only got one more league game after this one against Hartlepool, and that is done for Christmas. I know it's currently like January right now, I'm not sure like the 7th or the 8th, but either way, I hope you guys can understand that they're hard to do, and I was a bit exhausted with all the games and stuff like that but I will catch up this month and I will be back on track. So yeah, let's get into it. So we started off quite bright. Hebby's got the ball here and he sees Jordan down the left-hand side. He finds him. It's a good touch by Jordan. He puts it behind the defender. It goes to me. I just can't reach it. Muggers there though with his weaker foot. It's a good save by the keeper and it's gone wide for a corner. The referee didn't see the hand on the keeper. I remember seeing it in the game, but not to worry. They've given a goal kick. Fam's headed the ball. It's flicked. I've chested down and controlled it on my knee. Took it forward on one versus one with the keeper, and I've slotted it home for 1 0. Really early goal, six minutes in. Good start for us. And yeah, great little head by Fam in the middle to start the whole attack off. Kind of worked off better that the referee gave a goal kick in the end. Keep going, keep going, keep going. On. It's in. <laughs> Charlie's coming forward with the ball right now. He's gone past the halfway line, takes it around another player right there. Gets kind of lucky, plays it into Bears. Bears goes out to the right wing and finds Mugger here. Mugger tries to play the ball down the line for Bears. Can he reach it? He just about can. He just can't keep it in though. And it's a goal kick. So another goal kick goes forward. We win the first header from Spencer. Can Fan win the second? He can't. He just loses out. It bounces down to their centre midfielder though. Bounces off Spencer's leg. Charlie slips and someone has a shot from like 35 yards and it manages to go in. I'm not sure where that came from. D was a bit off his line, but 
I mean, he's not exactly going to be stood on his line in that situation, so it wasn't really his fault. Unlucky Charlie with a slip, but it didn't really make a difference. It was a good finish. Spencer wins another header in there, heads it forward to Bayes. Bayes lays it down the half volley for Bathy. Bathy plays it forward again to Bayes. Can he get there this time? He does. He shoulders that guy off the ball, tries to cross it in. It's a good block, and we get another corner. Nothing must have come from the corner because they now have a corner in the 15th minute. Spenner wins the ball again with his head. Charlie clears the ball with his foot and it's going to come all the way out here to our attackers. I believe it's heavy on this side. It is. Heavy's got the ball. He's got a man in his back and in front of him, but he plays it back to Bathy. Bathy goes forward with a long ball. He spots Bays, but it's landed all the way out to me. I've come across to try and take around the keeper and he's just managed to get a hand in it. It's a good save. It goes out for a corner. <laughs> So Muggers come forward here and he's won the ball from there, number 11, he's played out to the right hand side where I am now on the wing, I've whipped the ball into a good ball as well, the defender does really well to touch it on though, but Bathy's there at the back post, he whips it across and Mugger has to just touch it home, very very good finish from Mugger, it's a questionable offside but there is a man that was off the pitch that you can't really see, so that was the reason the ref didn't give offside, but either way it's a very tidy finish from Mugger and he started the attack by winning the ball, so very very good goal overall. As you'll have seen from the last few clips, it's kind of end to end, but Gates had have more of the ball, the controlling it better, the passing it better at this point in the game. But we are 2 1 up, so we kind of have the lead, so we're kind of sitting off a little bit, saving some energy. But they've done a nice little 1 2 and got the ball back, and D has the ball for another great save, puts it over for a corner, but great save again by D. So I've won the ball and poked it back to Jay. Jay's played it forward and Fam's got control of it now. He's got a few options. He sees me right through the centre-backs right there. I take a touch out my feet. I've got two options and I played it to Bayes this time. Bayes gets up and has a shot. And unfortunately, it was blocked. It was possibly gone wide. Shocking shot, really, Bayes. I'll tell him how it is. So they're now back on the attack there. Right mid's played the ball into their centre mid. who's done a nice little one-two and ran through. He's now kind of through on goal to the keeper. He takes it inside of Charlie. It's a good little turn, but great tackle again by Spenner, who's having a great game at this point. Very, very vital tackle right there. They're trying to come forward again from their right midfielder, but this time Charlie's cut it out very well red. He's taking it forward now, and he's spotted the pass down the right-hand side for me. I've got two defenders around me, not many options in the middle, so I've had the shot. It's a decent strike, but great save by the keeper to put it over for a corner. Um, yeah, good little counter-attack right there. So that pretty much calls it for half-time. We're 2-1 up. Not really in the driver's seat, they've had good possession, but yeah, let's get into the second half. Like I said before, in the first half, they had a lot of possession, but it's about taking chances. We get a chance right here, which I could take. Unfortunately, the keeper gets there first, but it's a good ball by Bayes. Good little play from Bathy and Heavy there. Ten, ten, 
It's a very even game at this point we're both having kind of the same amount of possession but it's flicked on now and they're kind of through right here Spencer's the last man back but their striker's in can he get across he can't but it's another good stop by D very well done today he played well in the last game as well he's having a good season so far so they've picked the ball up in the middle but lost out good tackle by Jay Jay's trying to get it forward as quick as he can I've read the defender's tackle right there and took the ball and I'm now one on one with the keeper again this time I put it away and that's my second goal of the game with 3-1 up very very good start no you don't really see the ball but you can now win bottom left either way 3-1 now again we're in the driver's seat we just now need to keep the ball and make sure we don't lose much possession Get in, son. That was good work from Bathy right there, nice feet, but Jordan's played the ball all the way down the line for Bears. What can he do here? He's nice little bit of strength there to hold him off, but then he's wiped out by their defender, their centre-back, who's come across with his elbow or shoulder or something like that. Um, it's not a sending off, he's not last man, but definitely yellow card there. Bears can have a little bit of a laugh of it, and Bathy's probably laughing at him as well, because um, it was a bit, a bit of a nasty challenge. Charlie's got the ball at the back here, and he plays it Mugger. Mugger lets it run, nice little bit of skill there. He played it into me. I've seen Mugger's run, though. He's kept it going. Played it down line for Mugger. Can he get the ball in the box? He does his good ball, but it's blocked by their centre back there, and it comes out to their player on the edge of the box, who eventually gets the ball away. So their centre back's got it. He plays it all the way up to their striker, who controls it really nicely, actually, and gets around our right back. He's took a touch inside as well. Another good stop by D, who gets himself up there and puts himself in a dangerous place with his head. He's done very well again. I think he caught one there, but very well done again, D. Just ridiculous. So the ball's bounce around there. Jay's brave and puts his head down. I flipped it around the corner for Hebby. Hebby's put the ball back around to great ball as well. The keeper again just gets a better of me there on the slide, and the defender does well to clear it out, but I've got possession here on the right-hand side. I played it back to Jay, and Jay can get his head up and puts the ball into the box. Again, their right back runs ahead of them when most of the head is in the box today, and they played it out. Can they get it away now? They try to, but I've cut it out and I've slipped. Uh, very, you know, the pitch. Uh, also, wearing moldies on a ground like this isn't great. He's always where it stood. So they're coming forward with their right mid, Adam Byron. He's a good little player. He's played futsal with him. He's got good feet. And he's running at our defence right now. He just goes off camera here, but he manages to turn around and find their centre mid, who whips the ball. It's a good ball as well. And D makes another good save, which forces the offside because their strike was off when the ball was played. So very well done again, D. The ball's gone forward, and their centre back has won the header. Once again, the ball's gone all the way through their strike, who should be offside at this point. He's not. Is he? He is, and that's a great finish as well. Top right hand corner, a little pork, but uh, yeah, he was offside at that point. So they've got possession. It's the last few minutes of the game. The ball's played forward. The passing that they're doing right now is great, actually. They've played it through to Adam Can't even shot. It's a great tackle by Jordan, though. Excellent tackle. Um, great stop again. Our defence was really, really on top, even though they had a lot of possession in there. They did really well. And that pretty much cuts it for the end of the game. Drazen came on right towards the end there, as you can see. Um, but yeah, that's it. 3 1. Possibly should have been maybe a few for them. Maybe they could have got a few more goals, but our defence and our keeper was ridiculous again. Um, so that was very, very good. But we took our chances when we needed to. And there's maybe a couple of the chances we probably could have took. But it's not to worry. We got the three points. We played against Hartlepool in the next game, which we won 4-3, which is a really, really good game. They're a good side as well. So I get six points against them across two games in the league. They did beat us in the cup twice on penalties, but we took the points in the league against them. So that pretty much wraps us up for Christmas. Our first game is against second place Heaven, which is the biggest game probably of our of our season um, so look forward to that that's going to be the next game that's up on my channel obviously we've already played it so if you want to check out what the result was you can go to the league and stuff like that which will all be in the description but not to worry if you want to just wait and watch out my channel it should be up within the next week so yeah look forward to that one hope you guys had a nice christmas like i say a nice new year all that lovely stuff if you want to see more of these videos be sure to leave a like comment down below your favorite part your favorite player whatever you think and yeah just let me know what you think of all around the videos any other video ideas and stuff but i hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you in the next video